If you are having your Shopify store and you are selling your products on Shopify, then it's super important for you to add the legal pages on your Shopify store. Like what is a refund policy, what is a privacy policy, and from where your customer can actually track their order or track their product. Because if you are having these kind of pages on your Shopify website or any of your e-commerce website, then it will actually build credibility among your customer. And if they see these pages, like what is your privacy policy, what is your refund policy, and how they can actually track their shipment, so it will help them to trust on you, trust on your brand, or trust on your store. Because they will see that you are having a policies, that means you are a fair seller, and you actually care about your reputation. And if they go on refund policy page, so they will be able to know, like if they are paying you for something, and then if they don't get the product they want, so they can actually get the refund. So if you put that thing in their mind, that their money is safe if they are paying to you, then and they will actually trust more on your store because you are giving them privacy policy, you are giving them refund policy, and you are actually allowing them to ship their parcel or track their parcel from UPS or any other carrier you want. So if they find these three pages on your store and you add these three pages on your store, then the credibility of your store will be super high. And right after watching this video, if you implement this technique on your store, then believe me, you can actually see a huge increase in your sales because if people trust you more, then they can actually purchase more products from you and keep purchasing products from you. So if you want to learn how you can actually add these kind of pages on your Shopify store and how you can actually write the stuff on that, so keep on watching this short video completely till the end, step by step, so you'll be able to do it. As you can see here, this is my today's sales for Shopify. And if I put the filter for past month, you can see that in past month, I got almost $5,400 revenue. And the cool thing about this is that I only focus 40% on paid marketing and 60% on organic traffic. And if you go on my YouTube channel, you can find out these free playlists on Shopify, on Pinterest, and on TikTok. And if you watch all of those videos for free on these playlists, you'll be able to know like how I actually generate free traffic from these social media platforms on my Shopify store, from TikTok, from Pinterest. And if you watch all of these videos in my Shopify playlist, so you'll be able to know Know, like how I optimize my Shopify store to get more sales, more conversion with less spend. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on my laptop right now and here this is my Shopify dashboard and here this is my Shopify store. So if I go on the home page of that store, so you can see that on the top menu, I am having this home page button, I am having this product button and I am having this our story button. So you can see that in this menu, there are no policy page, there are no refund policy page and there is no shipping tracking page. So if customers see this kind of website, so they will not trust you and there are high chances for them to leave your store without purchasing anything. So if you want to add these pages, first of all, you need to go on the dashboard of your Shopify store and from the left side, you need to click on this online store. And then from there, you need to click on this pages. And as soon as you click on this pages button, you will be able to see all of those pages on your Shopify store. You can see that we are having our story page, terms of services, privacy policy and refund policy. So as you can see here, I'm already having these pages created at my back end. But if you want to create that page from the scratch, you can just go up and from the right side, you can just click on add page. And then when you click on the add page, you will be able to see this new page. And from here, you can see this title and the content. So in the title, you can just write privacy policy page. And then in that content, you need to generate the content of privacy policy and paste that content here. And after pasting that content, from the top right corner, you can just click on save and your page will be added on the Shopify dashboard. And then when you create all of the three pages one by one, then you need to add them to your Shopify store main menu, which is in the header of your main page. So if you do so, you'll be able to see all of those pages here right after these buttons. So your customer can actually see those pages and then they can click and read those pages. So now after creating the page, we need to first generate the content of that page, paste that content, and then we need to add them in the main menu. So to generate the content from the bottom left side, you need to click on this setting buttons. I can just click and open that in new tab. And when you click on that setting button, so from the left menu, you need to go down and find the policies page. So now if you click on this policy page, there you will be able to see these blocks like right return and different policy. If you go further down, privacy policy. If you go further down, terms of services. And if you go further down, shipping policy. So here you can see that there are some policy pages. So for example, if you want to generate a template for privacy policy, you can just click on this create form template. If you click on that, so you can see that in one second, it has already generated a text for you. And from there, you can actually copy the whole text from top to bottom. And after copying, you can go again on your pages and paste that text here. And after pasting that text, you can see that in the contact section or in some other section, it has actually leave the space for you to fill out your phone number, fill out your email address and fill out your name. So after pasting that text, 
you need to read that text and you need to change your name your store name your email and your contact number wherever needed and after modifying that text you can actually go up and from the top right corner you can just click on save and continue so in that way that text will be added to your page and if you modify that text from your information like give your email and type your phone number so it will be easy for your customer to exactly contact directly to you if they are having any question or they are having any issue so just like that we have just created a privacy policy page so in the same way you can actually go there again and generate the content for terms of services if you click on create template button then it will generate a text for terms of services as well so now we want to do the same select all text copy that text go again on the page section click on add new page and then we need to name that page terms of services and then we can actually paste that content on that page so now after creating all of those pages and generating and putting the content in those pages when you click on this page button on the left side you will be able to see all of those pages here like terms of services privacy policy and refund policy so now at this point you are having your pages ready you are having your content ready so the last step is to add all of those pages in the main menu so to do so you need to click on this navigation button on the left menu under the pages and when you click on this navigation menu you can see two menus here present on my store like footer menu and the main menu so if i click on main menu so i will be able to see all of those pages which are added in the main menu like home shoehorn and our story if i go on my store i can see home shoehorn and our story so if i just add all of those new pages here add menu items search for that page pages privacy policy add and again click on add menu link pages refund policy add and then again click on add menu pages terms of services add so now you can see that we are having three pages privacy policy refund policy and terms of services and all of these three pages are in the main menu but you can see that here we are having less space in the menu so if we add all of those pages so that will not look so clean so if we want to make our main menu clean like this so we need to add one page and then we need to add the rest of the page under that page like this you can see that there is a shoehorn and if i hover on the shoehorn i will be able to see these three pages under that page so we need to do the same for the policy pages so now again go on shopify dashboard on the menu section and from here we need to drag and drop the refund policy and the terms of service page under the privacy policy so just click on that and drag under the privacy policy and then do the same again for terms of services click and drag under the privacy policy so now you can see that the main page is privacy policy and the sub pages are terms of services and refund policy so as soon as we do this and from the top right corner we click on save so all of these pages have been created generated and added into our main menu so now if we go on the main page again and click on refresh we can see the menu on the left side here if you click on these three dots here we can see the main page is home the second page is shoehorn the third page is our story and the fourth page is privacy policy and if i click on this plus button you can see that all of those two new pages are under that policy so right after watching this video go on your shopify store create and add all of those legal pages on your store so your upcoming customers can actually trust you more and purchase more products from you hence you can get more and more sales and make more and more profit and money so that's it for today guys i hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it so if you find my content really informative and helpful for you then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well so you can watch more and more videos like this in future let's meet in the next video till then take care bye